गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चों टुडे वी हैव टेकन द टॉपिक हाउ टू फाइंड डेल्टा यू क्यू एंड डब्ल्यू दैट इज द चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी हीट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द सिस्टम एंड सराउंडिंग्स एंड द वर्क डन आइर ऑन द सिस्टम और बाई द सिस्टम फॉर वेरियस थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रोसेस लाइक आइसोपोरिक प्रोसेस विच इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस आइसोबारिक प्रोसेस एज द नेम इम्प्लाइज इट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेसर प्रोसेस बिकॉज बार इज द यूनिट ऑफ प्रेसर एंड आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस एज द नेम एम्प्लाइज इट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर प्रोसेस एंड एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस विच इज नथिंग बट ए प्रोसेस वेयर देर इज नो हीट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन सिस्टम एंड सराउंडिंग सो वी कैन से डेल्टा वी इक्वल टू जीरो इन दिस केस दैट इज आइसोपोरिक प्रोसेस देर इज नो चेंज इन वॉल्यूम आइसोबारिक प्रोसेस मीन्स प्रेसर इज कॉन्स्टेंट मीन्स डेल्टा पी इज जीरो और वी कैन से कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेसर प्रोसेस देन आइसोथर्मल वेयर डेल्टा टी इज जीरो और इट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर प्रोसेस देन एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस वेयर हीट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन सिस्टम एंड सराउंडिंग्स इज जीरो तो इन सभी प्रोसेस के लिए हम ये तीनों पैरामीटर्स निकालेंगे और उसमें हम ये कुछ इक्वेशन यूज करेंगे विच आर वैलिड फॉर ऑल द प्रोसेस लाइक वर्क डन इज माइनस इंटीगल वी वन टू वी टू पी एक्सटर्नल इन टू डी वी देन डेल्टा यू इक्वल टू क्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू विच इज नथिंग बट द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स हियर क्यू इज टेकन एज पॉजिटिव वेन हीट इज एडिड टू द सिस्टम एंड वर्क इज टेकन एज पॉजिटिव वेन वर्क इज डन ऑन द सिस्टम दिस इज एज पर द कन्वेंशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री then delta u equal to n c v t2 minus t1 this is valid for all the processes irrespective of the process then heat exchange at constant volume is given by n c v t2 minus t1 then heat exchange at constant pressure is given by n c p t2 minus t1 c p minus c v equal to r and p v equal to n r t which is nothing but ideal gas equation so ye equations hum use karke we will find out the relations for change in internal energy then heat exchange between system and surroundings that is q and the work done by the system or on the system as per the process that is if it is a expansion process the gas is expanding then work is done by the system and if the gas is being compressed then work is done on the system and the system we have considered is an ideal gas ideal gas is the system okay now first take the isoporic process where volume is constant so this is a constant volume process and we know when the volume is constant work done will be zero so if i apply the first law of thermodynamics which says delta u equal to q plus w then as the work done is zero so delta u equal to q so at constant volume heat added is nothing but we have written here that is n cv t2 minus t1 okay so t2 is the final temperature and t1 is the initial temperature and we see this is the same equation which i we have written here this is valid for all the processes so it is also valid for the isoporic process that is the constant volume process now we take the next process that is the isobaric process which is a constant pressure process that is iso baric here pressure is constant so we can say that the first law of thermodynamics we will write here q plus w now as it is a constant pressure process so heat will be supplied at constant pressure so i can write delta u which is valid for all the processes that is n c v t2 minus t1 this is valid for all processes whether it is isothermal isobaric or isoporic or adiabatic this delta u which always equal to n c v t2 minus t1 equal to q at constant pressure 
it is nothing but n cp t2 minus t1 plus work done so work done i can simply find by this formula work done will be n cv t2 minus t1 minus n cp t2 minus t1 so this is i take i take common n into t2 minus t1 i can take common so it will be cv minus cp okay so and cv minus cp what is this it is nothing but minus r so this will be minus n r t2 minus t1 so this is the work done okay why it is negative because work is done by the system as the gas is getting expanded from volume v1 to volume v2 at constant pressure okay you have now you have to tell me whether this temperature t2 will be greater than t1 or it will be less than t1 okay because this is an isobaric process suppose there is a gas i have taken in this cylinder okay this is the piston and here the gas is here here i am supplying some heat q to the system okay and it is getting expanded at constant pressure now at constant pressure we know that volume is directly proportional to temperature okay so gas cannot expand unless its temperature gets increased that is why your t2 will be greater than t1 in this case of isobaric expansion of gas so because t2 is greater than t1 so work done is negative and so the gas is doing the work or work is done by the gas so this is how the isobaric process will look like and this is the work done and delta u is always n c v t2 minus t1 so we have found out uh, all the things and heat is so i will summarize this isobaric process we have found out the work done and we know the heat at constant pressure is n c p t2 minus t1 so this is the formula for heat exchange between system and surroundings at constant pressure that is the isobaric process and this is the work done and delta u is always given by n c v t2 minus t1 that is irrespective of the process whether it is isothermal isobaric isoporic or any process so these are the formulas for isobaric process okay here we can see that the heat which is supplied to the gas is divided into two parts that is work done by the gas because gas is expanding at constant pressure and because its temperature is also getting increased so its internal energy is also getting increased so the heat supplied to the gas is divided into two parts that is to increase the internal energy of the gas and then for the work done by the gas so part of the heat is used for the work done by the gas and the remaining is used to increase the internal energy of the gas that is why t2 is greater than t1 in case of isobaric expansion of the gas so we have found out for isobaric and isoporic now let us do for the say adiabatic process adiabatic process what is adiabatic process where there is no heat exchange between the system and surroundings or the system walls boundary walls are perfectly insulated then it is called the adiabatic process okay so we will apply the formula that is first law of thermodynamics which is delta u equal to q plus w here q is w q is 
so delta u will be equal to work done and we know that delta u for all processes is given by ncv t2 minus t1 so this will be the work done for adiabatic process that is ncv t2 minus t1 this can also because cv is nothing but r upon gamma minus 1 where gamma is ratio of cp by cv okay then this formula can work done can also be written as n r upon gamma minus 1 into t2 minus t1 this is the formula which you have seen which we have derived for the isobaric process this is the same formula which we have we found out here in a simple way where we have applied the first law of thermodynamics where q is 0 for adiabatic process so delta u equal to w and so w equal to delta u and delta u is always given by ncv t2 minus t1 so that is how we have found out q w and delta u which is ncv t2 minus t1 so that is for the adiabatic process now the last process we will take that is the isothermal process and isothermal process is nothing but where the temperature remains constant so when the temperature remains constant then what will be the change in internal energy it is a constant temperature process and we know that internal energy of the gas of an ideal gas is a function of temperature only so delta u will be zero okay for isothermal process now we apply the first law of thermodynamics that is delta u equal to q plus w as delta u equal to zero so q equal to minus w and we know that work done for an isothermal process is given by minus n r t ln v2 by v1 ok and so minus minus will become plus so it will be n r t ln v2 by v1 why it is coming positive sign q is coming as positive sign because in isothermal process heat is added to the system heat is being taken from the surroundings by the system so that the temperature of the system remains constant as the gas expands because as the gas expands its temperature will come down will try to come down but heat is absorbed from the surrounding so that the temperature remains constant that is why some heat is taken by the system so q is positive and the work done is negative ok so work done is negative of heat taken or we can write work done equal to minus nrt ln v2 by v1 so this is your work done for isothermal process and this is the heat added to the system in isothermal expansion of a gas so we have found out the formula for isothermal process adiabatic process isoporic process and isobaric process all the four processes utilizing these equations which are valid for all the processes i hope we have cleared this concept on how to find out the change in internal energy work done and heat exchange between system and surroundings for various thermodynamic processes utilizing the basic equations which are valid for all the processes. With this I conclude the session and wish you all the best. Thank you.